come no further. Hold a moment. It's words I bring, not steel. Offering terms of surrender, then? It's about time. You misunderstand. It's Al Muallam who sends me, not Salah al Din. Assassin! What is the meaning of this? And be quick with it! You've a traitor in your midst. And he has hired you to kill me? Come to gloat about it before you strike? I wouldn't be taken so easily! It's not you I've come to kill. It's him. Speak then, that I may judge the truth. Who is this traitor? Robert de Sable. My lieutenant! <laughs> he aims to betray. That's not the way he tells it. He seeks revenge against your people for the havoc you've wrought in Acre. And I am inclined to support him. Some of my best men were murdered by some of yours. It was I who killed them, and for good reason. Hear me out. William of Montferrat. He sought to use his soldiers to take Acre by force. Gagné de plus. He would use his skills to indoctrinate and control any who resisted. Sabran. He intended to block the ports, preventing your kingdom from providing aid. They betrayed you, and they took their orders from Robert. You expect me to believe this outlandish tale? You knew these men, better than I. Are you truly surprised to learn of their ill intentions? Is this true? My liege, it is an assassin that stands before us. These creatures are masters of manipulation. Of course it isn't true. I've no reason to deceive. Oh, but you do. You're afraid of what will happen to your little fortress. Can it withstand the combined might of the Saracen and the Crusader armies? My concern is for the people of the Holy Land. If I must sacrifice myself for there to be peace, so be it. This is a strange place we find ourselves in. Each of you accusing the other. There really is no time for this. I must be off to meet with Saladin and enlist his aid. The longer we delay, the harder this will become. Hold a moment, Robert. Why? What do you intend? Surely you do not believe him? It is a difficult decision, one I cannot make alone. I must leave it in the hands of one wiser than I. Thank you. No, Robert, not you. Then who? The Lord. Let this be decided by combat. Surely God will side with the one whose cause is righteous. If this is what you wish. It is. So be it. Two arms, assassin! Game. 
Jobs is ended. <laughs> <laughs> It's done then. Your schemes, like you, are put to rest. <laughs> you know nothing of schemes. You're but a puppet. He betrayed you, boy. Just as he betrayed me. Speak sense, Templar. Or not at all. Nine men he sent you to kill, yes? The nine who guarded the treasure's secret. What of it? It wasn't nine who found the treasure, assassin. Not nine, but ten. A tenth? None may live who carry the secret. Give me his name. Oh, but you know him well. And I doubt very much you'd take his life as willingly as you've taken mine. Who? It is your master, Al Mualim. But he is not a Templar. Did you never wonder how it is he knew so much? Where to find us? How many we numbered? What we aspired to attain? He is the master of the assassins. We, oui. master of lies. You and I just two more pawns in his grand game. And now, with my death, only you remain. Do you think he'll let you live, knowing what you do? I've no interest in the treasure. Ah, but he does. The only difference between your master and I is that he did not want to share. No. Ironic, isn't it? That I, your greatest enemy, kept you safe from harm. But now you've taken my life, and in the process, ended your own. Fought assassin. It seems God favors your cause this day. God had nothing to do with it. I was the better fighter. Ah, you may not believe in him, but it seems he believes in you. Before you go, I have a question. Ask it then. Why? Why travel all this way? Risk your life a thousand times, all to kill a single man. He threatened my brothers and what we stand for. Ah, vengeance then. No, not vengeance. Justice, that there might be peace. This is what you fight for? Peace? Do you see the contradiction? Some men cannot be reasoned with. Like that madman, Saladin. I think he'd like to see an end to this war as much as you. So I've heard, but never seen. Even if he doesn't say it, it's what the people want. Saracen and Crusader alike. The people know not what they want. It's why they turn to men like us. Then it falls to men like you to do what is right. <laughs> Nonsense. We come into the world kicking and screaming. Violent and unstable. It is what we are. We cannot help ourselves. No. We are what we choose to be. <laughs> Your kind. Always playing with words. I speak the truth. There's no trick to be found here. We'll know soon enough. But I fear you cannot have what you desire this day. 
Even now, that heathen Saladin cuts through my men and I must attend to them. But perhaps, having seen how vulnerable he is, he will reconsider his actions. Yes. In time, what you seek may be possible. You were no more secure than him. Do not forget that. The men you left behind to rule in your stead did not intend to serve you for longer than they had. Yes. Yes. I am well aware. Then I'll take my leave. My master and I have much to discuss. It seems that even he is not without fault. He is only human, as are we all. You, as well. Safety and peace be upon you. It's been a long road, full of the same rocks, the same signs, and the same neighbors. But it's finally led back to Robert de Sabla, dickhead who didn't fall for our brand new direct assassination tactic and has put himself in the hands of King Richard and his Crusader Knights in an attempt to quash the Assassin's Order who have plagued the area with random deaths. The only just decision maker that Richard could think of was to put this matter into the hands of God with a battle to the death to determine victor. This boss fight pledged by faith sucks ass. Seriously, from the point that Altair even got to this place, it was plagued with stupidity due to Altair constantly getting ambushed by several circles of baddies on his way here, and considering that the combat sucks in every possible way, forcing me to do it over and over again was not a good idea to say the absolute least. Then another bit of combat with Robert's personal guard to cap off this showcase of disaster along with fighting Robert himself, which is oddly the easiest of the entire section since he fights practically the same as every other enemy confronted so far. Just wait for the counters and DeSablo's defenses will fall like a house of cards sitting on a fucking two-legged table, and the sun shines on Altair's favor with King Richard, leaving him only one man standing. al Mualim himself, apparent new ruler of the Middle East and holder of the Templar treasure according to the dead Templar ruler. Yet another point where Ubisoft could have made something awesome, but was too busy sitting on its laurels to do much besides covering its games, ending with spitballs and yelling fuck it to everyone in the room. Well, fair enough, since I'm done with this shit as well, Ubisoft.